Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm the product manager for Extraction, Avanti's enhanced reporting tool. I'm going to walk you through four easy steps to creating a dashboard with this tool. We're going to use the Avanti service manager for today's example. So the very first thing you need to do when creating a dashboard is you need to pick a layout. You need to decide how you want it to look. So what I'm going to do here is select this little blue eye that shows properties, and we're going to see all the available different layouts that you can choose from. We're just going to go ahead and keep the default one selected and say OK. The next step that we need to do is we need to select a data source. So Extraction currently supports a number of different third-party vendors, as well as our own Avanti products, to grab data from. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to scroll to the bottom here and we're going to grab the Avanti Service Manager connector. So this is the data source that we're going to use to build our dashboards. Now you'll see there's different categories underneath this high level Avanti Service Manager. These are all different views in the data. What we're going to select right now is incidents. And once we select that, you'll notice that there's a default filter set up. Now you can change this, you can remove the filter, but for the purposes today, we're going to leave this at the default, which is created date during last month. What this means is it's going to control what data is returned to the screen. So the first element we're going to grab is a time component. We're going to use the column graph. So now what you can see here on screen is that each tick on the x-axis is, is referencing a single day. And what you'll see on the y-axis is the count of number of incidents that were created on that day. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a pie chart. I want a pie chart of the various categories associated with these incidents. I'm just going to select the category and drag it onto the screen. So what you'll see here are all of the categories associated with the incidents that were created during last month. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to know what the incident impact is. So I'm going to grab a bar graph and go down my impact field, and I'm just going to drag that across into the last component on the screen. So now what we're seeing on the screen is three different components with regards to incident data for incidents created during the last month. Let's say this high impact is of interest and I want to drill down and see more about that. I can select this item on the graph and choose to filter component replace. And what that's going to do is it's gonna cross filter the other elements on screen so that I'm only now seeing the items that had a high impact. So you'll see there's one of those for capacity and the other a performance issue. And then you can see what days those two high incidents occurred on. Well, let's say I want to dig even deeper. I can select this element for high and choose view records. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring me into a more detailed view where I can actually see the incident ID, the type, created date, etc. There are many more columns that you can choose to display here. And if that is something that you want to do, it's as simple as going into the properties, editing the columns, and choosing from the available columns that you want to have displayed on the screen. This can be different for any user viewing the dashboard. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and cancel because I'm fine with what's displayed. And I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And it's going to return me back to that filtered down view. Now I want to get back to the original view. I'm just going to go up to this filter action and I'm going to clear the temporary filters. And now I'm back at the original dashboard that I created. Just to recap, it's as simple as four easy steps. Pick a layout, pick a data source, drag and drop elements onto the screen, and then drill into the data. Thank you.